hi everyone this is hello angel or design today i'm going to show you how to make a simple top for your kids or loved ones this top that you're seeing right here is for 11 years old child i make a circle sleeve you can make any sleeve of your choice a normal sleeve sleeveless raffle sleeve any sleeve of your choice is really really fine on this top so this top that i make right here you can the kids can wear it on jeans, on tight, on skirt. So it's really, really beautiful. And I attach two layer ruffles at the bottom edge. And this is the back of the top, a button low back. So it's very easy to make. It's not so difficult. I will take you step by step on how you can achieve this top for your kids or loved ones. And I have also shown how to make pattern paper for your kids before so if you haven't watched that tutorial i will put the link down below so that you can go and check it out the only adjustment that you need is the side seam so what you're going to do instead of placing your ruler at the beginning of the arm hole and just connect it down to the waist what you're going to do add about one and a half inch at the side of the arm hole so you place your ruler and it's going to be a diagonal it's not going to be straight it's going to be a diagonal so just place your ruler at the end of the armhole to that one and a half inch that you add on the side seam and just connect it together because top is not tight it's free at the waist you can even make the waist longer or shorter you can see my I add two layer raffles at the top right here. You can decide to make it just one layer instead of two layer, or you can decide to make it just a normal top for your kids or loved ones. If my tutorial has been helpful, don't forget to thumbs up, make a comment down below if you have any questions. And let's get started. <music> pin my front pattern paper on the fabric and my back pattern paper on the fabric Before don't forget to add your seam allowance at the armhole and the neckline so i will go ahead now and cut out my front and back pattern fabric and i will cut my sleeve and i'm going to also attach a raffle at the bottom air two layer raffles so i will just go ahead and cut them out and then we can start to put the top together I have cut out my fabric. I'll just explain how I cut out my fabric. This is for the button loop. So the length is five inch, the width is three inch. Make sure to cut two pieces for the button loop and this you're going to use it to cover the raw edges at the center back of your top. And this is the layers of the raffles. I'm using two fabric. I'm using black and the same fabric. So it's going to be like this. The length of the small layer is three and a half. The length of the big layer is four and quarter inch. And this is my sleeve. So the sleeve is a circle sleeve. I cut two pieces. It's right here. And this is my top so let's put the top together first thing that you have to do put the both fabric together both front and back together make sure that both fronts are facing each other this is the front of my fabric put the both shoulder seam together go ahead and pin it in place i have pinned mine i will take it to my sewing machine and stitch the both shoulder seam once i have done that i will also take it to my overlock i'll just overlock the raw edges so go ahead and top stitch i have stitched the shoulder seam this is how it is the next thing that you have to do is to use bias binding to bind the neckline so before you use bias binding to bind the neckline don't forget your button loop so you measure one inch by weight and just measure about three inch for the length so what you're going to do, fold it into two first, and then fold the raw edges inside that mid part, fold these raw edges inside the other mid part, and fold it again. 
so by this time you are in your ironing board you just go ahead and press along so when you're going to stitch take it to your sewing machine give it a top stitch all the way down because you are going to attach the button loop at the center back so what you're going to do place your um bias binding around the neckline go ahead and just pin around the neckline i'll just put a few pins to show how you can stitch the neckline together so once you have pinned around the neckline of your top that you're making take it to your sewing machine stitch in between the crease along the bias binding once you are done stitching fold it inside fold it again and then fold it inside like this and top stitch all around so go ahead and bind the neckline of your top that you're making and don't forget to stitch your button loop I have stitched around the neckline this is how it is i use my bias binding to stitch around the neckline you can also see that the bias binding is inside is not visible at the neckline and i also stitch my button loop right here so for the center back i cut up to four and a half inch you can cut up to five inch or five and a half not more than that and your pieces that you cut that you're going to use to bind the center back also go ahead and cut it all the way down to four and a half inch or more so what you're going to do you place it at the front of your top like this this is the back fabric and this is the front you place it like this make sure they are together you can just go ahead and pin that in place once you have done that just go ahead and pin the boat center back together once you get to the top of the neckline what you're going to do this is the raw edges of your fabric fold it over like this and then pin that in place and you also do the same thing on this side fold it over and then pin that in place so when you're going to stitch just take it to your sewing machine stitch it all the way around and then turn it over fold it inside and fold it again and top stitch and you also do the same thing down here to cover all the raw edges because you don't want any raw edges to be showing so let's go and stitch that together I have top stitched the center back this is how it is and the next thing that we have to do is to stitch our sleeve on the armhole my sleeve is circle sleeve the length is five inch so what you're going to do before pinning your sleeve around the armhole put them together take your scissors snip a little bit out from the top so that you know the mid part so what you're going to do you're going to pin it around the armhole so you put the both mid part together like this and you go ahead and pin that in place so i will just go to the end of the armhole like this and i will put it together like this and i will pin that in place and i will do the same thing on this side before pinning your sleeve together make sure both front are facing each other just go ahead and pin it all together you come to this side go ahead and pin it all together i have pinned my both sleeve together the next thing that i'm going to do i will just take it to my sewing machine and give it a top stitch all the way down my seam allowance is one centimeter once i am done that i will also take it to my overlock i will just overlock the raw edges once you have done stitching your sleeve together you take your two layer raffle set your sewing machine to the longest stitch and stitch along 
you just stitch two stitches or one stitches that depends on you and you also go ahead and hem the bottom edge of the raffle all around and we'll do the same thing on the second layer if you're just making one raffle just go ahead and hem your uh, raffles around and set your sewing machine and stitch along but if you're making a combination the way that i'm doing right now make sure you're using a black thread to hem your bottom edge around don't use white thread as you can see but i'm using white thread to set to top stitch right here because i will remove the gather stitch thread later so make sure when you're making any dress or any top use a thread that will match your fabric so go ahead and stitch that in place I have stitched my both sleeve together. This is how it look right now. I take it to my overlock. I just overlock the raw edges. And I also go ahead and stitch one side seam on the top together. Just one side seam. I haven't stitched this side together because I'm going to pin my raffles at the bottom edge of the top that I'm making. So that is why I haven't stitched it together. The next thing that you have to do, you take your raffle pieces. This is my first layer raffle, while the black one will be at the bottom. So what you're going to do, you put them together. Just put the both raffles together like this. And just go ahead and do it the way i'm doing it right now you just take your scissors and snip a little bit so that you know the mid part of these raffle pieces so what you're going to do this is the front of my top and this is the inside that is the back so you open your top like this this is the reason why i first stitch the first side seam i haven't stitched the second side so i will pull the boat top and my raffle pieces together like this i'm going to first pin the mid part both the side seam and my raffle pieces pin the mid part together and then i will come to the end of the other side of the side seam and i will pin this in place and then you do the same thing on the other side this once you have pinning together this side of these raffles, gather it on this side of your top. And this other side of this raffle, gather it on this side of your top. Once you have done that, you take the second layer pieces of your raffle, go ahead and gather it all around. If you pin the first layer raffles on your top, then you gather, you know the exact amount of the raffles that you need on your first layer raffles then go ahead and gather the second raffle the same way and then remove all the pins that you pinned before on your first raffle so when you're going to pin them together you will first place your first layer that is the black one or any fabric that you're using and then place the second layer on top of it so that you can be able to stitch them together at the same time so go ahead and gather it all around pin it on your top and then we cannot take it to our sewing machine and top stitch i have pinned both raffle layer together this is how it look right now the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine get it a top stitch all the way around my seam allowance is one centimeter I have stitched my both layer raffles together. This is how it look and I take it to my overlock. I just overlock the raw edges. The next thing that you have to do is to pull the side seam together. We have already closed one side seam, so we haven't closed the other side. Just go ahead and turn your dress inside out. So go ahead and put them together like this. You pick it like this and you put them together. 
pin that in place so go ahead and start pinning once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine give it a top stitch all the way down my seam allowance is one centimeter so go ahead and top stitch it all around once you have done that just go ahead and hem your sleeve and your top is finally ready so go ahead and stitch them in place 